Hola mi amigos! So here we are in sunny Spain again. It's uh, another Malone mate day today. So today what we're going to do is we're going to turn this beautiful bit of olive wood and this funky old chain. If I can unhook it. So this old chain here, we're going to turn it into a lamp. So there's going to be some welding, some grinding, a little bit of electricals in there. Um, so we'll be taking apart an old lamp and putting that together. Uh, well, re-putting it back together with the cables and the switch and everything. And it will all be mounted onto this olive wood once it's ground and it's waxed and polished and what have you. So we're going to going to crack on with that. First things first, I'm going to get this ground down and then we will move on to some welding of the chain. So I will see you on the other side. So I've ground down most of this bit now, so I'm just going to do a little bit of real time. So I might get a little bit noisy, but yeah, I'll do a little bit of real time um, on this so it's not all time lapsey lapsey. Um, and then what we need to do with the bottom of it, so it sits, sits true and it doesn't have that wobble, because obviously it's going to have a bit of weight on top of it. So the very bottom, um, we're going to plane just so that we can get that nice and flat, nice and steady. Uh, but this, this little bit here is perfect because that's why the wire can come out from the back. So um, yeah, I really like that. So far so good, it's coming up really nicely. So let's just do a little bit more. smooth now. I'm not getting rid of all the, um, some of the some of the smaller bits obviously I can't get into with the grinder itself um, so I'll probably do a little bit hand sanding on some of these bits. Um, I need to get a little bit more out of that bottom as much as I can in there and then again there'll be a bit of a hand sanding job. So in the meantime whilst I've been doing this um, my dad has been welding the chain. I did have a little go. I did a couple of the links myself, uh, but I'm not really used to welding all that much. So, um, so dad's been doing that for me. And then we get a really nice finish on it as well. Cause like I say, I'd, I'm not really used to welding, but I've had, I've had a crack and uh, you will get to see that on the video too, if I haven't put it in, in between these bits. Um, so yeah, let's get a little bit more of this done.
probably bob going on. Let's see, I'm just getting this a little bit tighter. That should be a bit better. Sand on the inside. The colours that are going to come out once this is, once we rub some olive oil and, and polish and maybe a bit of wax and stuff in there, it's going to come out absolutely beautiful. I just want to get a little bit here now. Make that nice and smooth. And then I can move on to the hand sanding. So I will let. Uh, See you in the next part. So I've got into this in a little bit, so I'm, I'm not going to make it too smooth because I do like all the natural little bits and bobs, but we've got the bottom flat now and we've got the holes in here, one for the, the bolt for the, the chain stand, one for the wire to go through and then the wire will come through this back and you'll have the switch coming through the back so it stays nice and neat. So that will be the front there. And then Dad has welded up this for me, so this is going to get sprayed. Um, it's not going to stay in these colours because obviously you've got the weld on the in-between bits so um, here we go, I'll give you a little taster of what it's going to look like long hole this one there we go so this is all going to be sprayed black the fixing that's going to come off um, I think I'm going to get a brass one but for now um, we've got a black one so um, and obviously we can't get to any shops with the uh, with the old lockdown so um, we're going to put a black one on it for now and then I'll get that changed at a later date to, to something a little bit more fitting to what I want but so far that is what it's looking like so yeah I'm really really chuffed with that so time to get it sprayed get that dry and then we can cut this bolt to size so that it's not going to disrupt it when it's sat down so we'll get that done then I love it. Absolute ripper. Oh, ta -da. Do, 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 do. So now, um, now uh, I'm going to oil my wood. Ewer, ewer. And this is going to come up beautiful. So I'm actually using olive oil. Ah, look at that. Look at those colours. So I'm going to get this rubbed in all over and the chain is sprayed, the bolt is cut 
Um, so little things like that I've not included in the video just because I don't want it to be like 10 mil million miles long and um, the quite menial little things doing things like that and that's been doing a bit as well he's been helping me out um, so it's, it's a team effort so it's a team Malone make today so put this in all around get those oils in those cracks just like that give the wood a good rub all the innuendos today all of them why not let's have some more even innuendo is a innuendo isn't it in your window so do forgive me for waffling a load of crapola Goodness. Oh, just look at those colours, it's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. I love doing stuff like this. Let's get right in there. Right, right in there. So do let me know in the comments if you're enjoying what I'm doing so far or if you've got any questions on any of the process, anything that I might have missed that you wanted to see. Um, if there is little bits and bobs that I don't film and I do do a fair bit of time lapse because some stuff is fairly time consuming like grinding it. So I don't need to put too much on this bottom bit just because it's, uh, well, it's the bottom. See, I told you, all the innuendos. Rubbing oil into my bottom now. There we go. That's what you wanted to hear. going to do it lightly across this bottom bit. Kind of use it a bit sparingly around this bottom because it doesn't need too much really. But it does help to just kind of just seal it a little bit and give it all that sort of similar similar sort of finish. Right in the hole. Right in that hole. So I need to get a little bit more around that edge. And then I will show you what it looks like with the chain back in place again now that it's all sprayed and we've got the wire and um, we just need to attach a plug to it because the wire that we've got needs a little bit of a clean so it's an old one so we are repurposing and reusing some old stuff it's not all it's not all new we will get a new fixing for the actual light bulb to go in it just because I want something to match the overall look of it and to obviously go in my living room where this is going to go. So I'm currently decorating my house at the moment. I've painted the living room now. So this is going to sit quite nicely in the corner. We've pretty much got most of the places, I think. Right into these gaps here. a little bit straight on there. But it's been a fairly easy make this one. Um, it's gone quite quickly the whole um, process because I have obviously had help from uh, from Papa Malone. So it's getting there. Not too much left to do. A little bit more. Bit, I think. Right into some grooves. That's it. That's got the bugger. That's what we want. I'm going to get some right in there as well. A bit of an awkward bit. There we go. So olive oil for the olive wood. Those colours are just absolutely stunning. Right across this top bit, look at that. It's beautiful. I did notice as well, actually, that from this angle, it kind of looks like an elephant. Do you agree or not? I think it does. An abstract elephant. It's an artist interpretation of an elephant. into all 
a bit. That's where the bolt's going to sit anyway, so that's not too bad. Get into this little dip here. There we go, Bob. So your uncle found his your aunt, Bobby Bloody Dazzler. So I will show you now how it looks with the with the chain in place. Oh, get the bolt off the bottom there. There we go. So once that's in. There we go, so this was all sprayed up, all nice and black. I'll just grab the cameras because I don't know if you can actually see that all from there. But there we go, there you have it. So that's going to be pretty much the finished look, apart from the, the wire itself is going to come... Where's my hand? There is my hand. <laughs> so this hole here, so the cable's going to come up and wrap around here, so the cable's going to be black. And then just from the middle section, just about here, that is where we're going to uh, going to have the light itself hanging. And then from the hook itself, I mean that's more decorative than anything, but you could hang something off there I guess. So that's pretty much the overall look. So Papa Malone is helping with the wiring because I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just connecting the light fitting at the moment. Getting that all in place. We are going to change that at some point but we're just using what we have at the moment, repurposing. So I would like a, a nice brass one eventually but for now it still goes, it's black so it's looking good. Oh, looking rather swanky. So it's all wired and it's all ready. We've got a bulb in it. So here comes the tester. Ha ha! Check that out. It looks so good. So we may use a different bulb and um, a different fixing, like I just mentioned. But for now, I'm pretty bloody happy. I love it. So do let me know what you think, if you like it, if there's anything of the process that I missed out that you might like to see a little bit more. No way. For now, we're pretty happy with that. So it was a joint effort from me and Papa. I love it, it's going to look fantastic in the living room. I'll, I'll get a couple of pictures and I'll upload them to my Instagram to do pop over to there and give that a like and a follow as well so you can see some of the little updates that don't, don't make it to the videos. But for now, I will leave you with a couple of pictures and then I will see you next time. Bye!